I knew it. I knew you couldn't stay away. Those of you who just got through watching part one, Wine Expansion Joint Works, I knew you'd be back. I had you at hello. Hello, my name is Greg Perkins with Oak Ridge Bellows, and you're watching the Bellows Bottom Line video version. Wine Expansion Joint Works part two. We talked about pressure in part one. Now we're talking about the actual flexing part of the bellows. You can see how a bellows flexes. I mean, look at this. See there? And this is, yeah, I know you're saying, isn't that the bellows from scene three? Act four. Yeah, it is. I use this bellows a lot. It's really thin, and you know, a lot of times bellows you just can't do that with the bellows. Uh, but in this particular one, it's a good diameter. It's, it's, a, it's a great prop. Our prop department's done an excellent job on that. So, a bellows when it flexes, and I got to get in close. I don't want to say this too loud. When a bellows flexes, it flexes in the plastic or inelastic range. Whoa! Whoa, I know some of you vessel guys are going, what? What, the material actually yields? Well, that's, that's a failure. We all learn that when the material yields, why, why uh, that's well beyond its factor of safety. Now, hang on, hang on. You were sleeping during the section where it talked about plastic correction or inelastic correction. Let's, let me step back a little bit. We take a piece of, uh, of metal and we bend it and it flexes right back, right back to where it came from, that's said to be in the elastic range, or, uh, yeah, in the elastic range. Now we, we bend it a little bit more, a little bit further, and you know what, it doesn't come back. It just stays right where it was. Well, that's what we call in the inelastic range, or plastic range, the material has yielded. And, and that's what a convolution does. Uh, uh, let me draw a, a cross section here. What was that? Let's see. Oh, I see several hands up. Uh, oh, we'll go with you. Uh, no, 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 not you. The guy in the fedora. The other guy in the fedora. Yeah, okay. All right, okay, yeah, that's a good question. All right, so uh, the question is, well, why can't we just design the movements to where the bellows operates in the elastic range. Well, you know, quite frankly, you wouldn't get hardly any movement. And yeah, you might get a bellows that will then just cycle forever, but uh, it's, it's, it's highly impractical. So, nice one, but still. When a bellows flexes and compresses, here's where you're getting your, your yield points, right, right there. And, and yeah, it yields, and does that compromise the, the pressure integrity of the bellows? No, it absolutely does not. Um, let me give you, let me give you an example uh, that, that we're all familiar with, the paper clip. Paper clip. Par, uh, props. Uh, uh, paper clip. Alligator clip. Paper clip. Okay, paper clip. This is something we're all familiar with. You take a paper clip, let me get in a little closer here, and let, you know, we, we, we yield that paper clip. That, uh, that's that's that paper clip has failed. Well, no, it no, it hasn't. Because you know what, we could just put it right back, and it's it works. It's it's good. We can we can hold papers together with it. Well, you know, you can keep doing that, and you do it over, and you do it over, and you do it over. What's going to happen? Well, we're eventually it's going to eventually it's eventually going to fail. That's right. Okay. Well, you know that's what happens. That's what happens here. Ah, you guys are saying, well, that's. That's just an inherent problem on, on bellows. Well, you piping guys, I, I see out there, you're smirking to yourselves because you know, you know, pipe loops do the same thing. Yes, yes, pipe loops, uh, they function in the inelastic or plastic range. They yield when, uh, when they deflect. And then of course, they, they pull back and so that they have cycle life. And so here's what we do with the bellows. We take um, we take we take bellows. We take scads of bellows. We have taken scads of bellows. Uh, uh, the the expansion joint community has pulled uh, that data together uh, within the EDGMA or Expansion Joint Manufacturers Association. And what they do is they they uh, run their their equations and their calculations, and they come up with a total stress range. And they. Uh, what they do is they cycle them until they develop these cracks, and then they say, "Okay, this is a and this is as calculated." 
And so then, then they say, okay, I got my, I, I got as calculated stress, and then I, it failed here, so I, that's the data point. And then they take another one, they, they, they want to fill in the whole range. And they do that, and, and they get lots and lots of data points, and they come up with a curve. And let me tell you, this is, there are lots of data points, a ton of data points on, on the cycle life of Bellows to where the, the curve is, is well documented. What, what's that? Pipe loops? No, I, that's a good question. I don't think there is a fatigue curve on pipe loops. Not that I know of. I, sure, I've seen uh, photos back in the 70s. They did some, uh, they did uh, uh, strain gauges at the, at, at the corners and, and where these things are flexing and, and they backed into to the equations which are now part of of oh, all your your coa to your pipe flex programs and things like that and yeah i know that that pipe is not quite as complicated as a bellows but let me just say this about a bellows bellows is uh, for, for thermal stresses uh, is more documented than anything any anything you'll find in a refinery or a power plant your your pipe loops uh, your vessels your your tube sheets i mean the bellows is a well-documented uh, part. So when we, we say hey, it operates in the, uh, in the uh, inelastic range, well, it's nothing, uh, it's nothing to fret about. But it's something uh, that, that you'll find of interest of how it works, and it's no different than a piping system right next to it that may have a pipe loop in it. And, and all that is, uh, is how the movement of a pipe is able to, to take a, and here's the one other thing, let me just throw in here, when you design a bellows and a piping system, all that, that yielding of the pipe and the pipe loops, that all goes away. You don't have your pipe operating in the, in the uh, inelastic or plastic range anymore. Yes, putting a bell, an expansion joint in a piping system makes that pipe and its attachments and the vessels and the pumps last longer. Now you know. For more information about expansion joints, go join us at www.oakridgebellows.com.